guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey guys! We got Saul's hair in, body washes, deodorants. Got all the flavor. I'm filming on my new camera. Do you guys love? Do you guys love? It smells like vanilla. It's sweet. It's creamy. Ooh, these scents are... It does smell like a cupcake. The texture is really nice. If you've had the Summer Fridays Lip Butters, this is a little bit lighter than it. I feel like it's not as thick, but it's still hydrating, nourishing. It makes my lips feel soft. I think that's the oil in it, but... Hold on, let me see if I can get closer. It's really nice. It's really nice. This is toasted. I feel like I'm gonna love this. I'm wondering if they all smell the same. This color is a little thicker. This is how this shade looks. Still cute. Like it's cute. It's neutral. I like this. We're gonna do the dragon fruit color. I love a bubblegum pink. I feel like they all smell the same. It has that cupcake, vanilla y, creamy. This is a really cute color too. And it's a perfect bubblegum pink, just like I thought it would be. It girl coated the whole nine, the whole shebang. This one gotta be my fave. The two browns that saw Tara release, we have the toasted and the cacao. This is a cacao. <gasps> Look at how dark it is. I'm scared. Whew. I'm stopped. I'm scared. Hey, this is how the cacao looks. I definitely think a little bit goes a long way. Not my memory card full, but... A little, whoa, like I was saying, a little bit goes a long way. And like, for example, when you first put it on, I feel like it separates a little bit. And it's hard to, I don't want to say like it's hard to blend, but it kind of does this situation, which isn't cute. It's not cute. It's not cute. But I think once you blend it in, hold on, let me clean up because that looks messy. It looks like I had a hot fudge Sunday. I feel like this is a color where you just need the tints. You don't need this to be in full color, but I'm also not even 100% sure if you're able to build it up that much. I don't like dark lips on me, so it's not even how I would wear it. Um, I will wear it just as light as you saw it. But like, even if you wanted to do See, look. Well, it's buildable. Dark lips is not my... Dark lips like this will never be my tea, number one. But let me just... But I don't like how it separates like that. So I would only use a little bit. Look, it looks... <laughs> this looks like I had brownies and fudge. Um... I might have to say the cacao is my least favorite. Oh wait, we didn't do acai. We didn't do the acai. Hold on. 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 But like, look. Like this isn't the cutest. It's not the cutest. It's it's not the cutest. It's not. We're just gonna take that off. We're just gonna. We're just gonna take that off. But like I said, it's cute. It's cute if you want like that deeper tint. We're doing the acai. It's more of a plum color. Here's a swatch. Ooh. 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 This is cute. This one's cute. Hold on. If I had to choose top three, it would have to be these. I never would have thought the acai would make it to my top three, but I got it on right now. Because this is not a color that I would just go out and buy all willy-nilly. It's not. But I would wear this any day. All three of these are going in my bag. If you've tried these lippies, let me know which one's your fave. I just want to do the smell test for the body washes. I smelled this one before in Target. This smells good. This smells good. If I can remember, it's jasmine and sandalwood. That's two of the notes that I remember off the top of my head. Jasmine makes me like it. The sandalwood is a little bit woody. I don't like woody scents, but I feel like the jasmine softens it up. This is the golden hour, which is there. I think this is newer. Where it's oil infused. I don't know if the other ones are. Let's see. 
how I love this. Oh. Oh. I like this. Hold on. Oh, this one's my fave. I don't think they sell this one in Target. I think this one's just online on Saltair.com. No, whatever the combo is, it's like the perfect mix of all of them. I did find that the variety of these, like all the colors, I did find that they were a little strong. This is like softer. Let me smell it again. I like this. I like this. It's a little fruity. I'm not big on fruity, but it's soft, fruity. Oh, radiant sunflower, juicy pineapple, fresh coconut. The coconut. I smell the coconut the most. This is a very islandy scent. I can rock with the coconut. I can rock with the coconut. Delicate rose jasmine petals and creamy sandalwood. Like the sandalwood sticks out the most to me. But I feel like the jasmine definitely softens it up. We're going to try them both. And I'm going to let y'all know. I really wanted to try their deodorant. The pink beach scent with 5% AHA. It's a serum deodorant. This is, I saw that it brightens the look of discoloration. And I get really bad ingrown hair. And I was going for laser hair removal for... I think I did probably six sessions already of that. So it definitely helped with the ingrown hairs. And because the laser hair removal lessened the ingrown hairs, my armpits aren't as dark as they used to be. It lightened so much and the laser hair removal worked. But little AHA won't hurt nobody. Discoloration instantly reduced the look of ingrown hairs. Oh! Hold on. Oh, this is so nice. Let me see. I feel like this pink beach isn't as strong as the body wash is. You know, the body wash, I was like, ooh. So it looks like it only has two notes online, the almond blossom and vanilla. I feel like I smell the vanilla the most. It's actually very soft. Let me look at the body wash because now I'm like, the body wash did not smell like this. Interesting. The body wash has almond blossom and vanilla, like the deodorant, but it has the coconut as well. Interesting. I feel like if the body wash smelled like this, I would like it a lot more. But it's something about these body washes that I feel like the fragrance is a little bit strong. Maybe it'll like soften up in the shower. I'm gonna have to see. Right now I'm into the natural deodorant. Honestly didn't have that phase where, you know, everybody was talking about everyone was switching to natural deodorants and everybody was a little musty. I didn't have that phase. I also asked for this deodorant. This is the Seascape skincare deodorant. I'm not sure if it's the same, but in recyclable packaging. So this one's the refillable. The skin activated acidification to keep odor at bay. Formulated with BHA, not AHA. Formulated with BHA, zinc. So in the Seascape, they actually don't have this formulation of a deodorant. They only have this one in the Seascape scent. What this is going to look like when you open it. This is so cool. Now, if you need the refillable, you just twist this up. So it's just that. This smells like a regular deodorant scent. If that makes any sense. Again, the deodorants smell a little bit different than the body washes. Got a grapefruit, ylang ylang, and white sand. I don't really smell the grapefruit. I'm not sure what ylang ylang smells like. But I feel like I smell the white sand the most. It just smells fresh. Think of your regular powder, clean linen deodorant. That's what this smells like. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to see y'all in my next one.